Christian, Daniel and Max, really steady characters because it's not easy to be steady here. There's a protest that's gone in uh, from the Japanese. It's obviously in relation to the fact that Japan are outside of the medals. They've got to credit the dismount. Whether they credit the difficulty for the dismount is another issue. Just wait for confirmation on that, that Japan have gone up into silver. The Great Britain men's gymnastics team receive their applause from a packed house here. They take bronze in the men's team final. The whole situation is just... It's all I think about is winning an Olympic medal and here I am right now standing with the bronze belt silver. I know it would have been nice, but uh, no, I couldn't complain at all right now. Here with us, uh, the commentator of the gymnastics, we've got uh, Matt Baker, who's uh, not just a one-show pony, are you? <laughs> and uh, hey, alongside good. him, you might recognise the former heavyweight champion of the world, one uh, Lennox Lewis, who was born not too <laughs> far from here either. Matt, that was quite astonishing. Do you know what, Gary? I still can't believe it. Yeah. And I still can't believe it's coming out of our mouths that we're saying that Great Britain have got a bronze in the men's mm. team final. I mean, it is, it, it's unprecedented, mm. to be honest with you, as far as gymnastics is concerned. I know if you look back in the record books, you'll see that in you know, 1912, Great Britain got a bronze. Yeah. In those but, days, they had knickerbockers well, they and, and they had rope climbing. <laughs> Indeed, and they were doing drill as yeah. well around a yard. So, you know, how, you just have to look and see how gymnastics has come on. And I know, Lennox, you're a new fan of the sport now. Yeah, you have to absolutely. See that. That, um, but, some amazing moves. Well, that's the thing. And mm. just to keep the composure and how Great Britain managed to do it. I mean, it was like a cauldron in that. It's place. astonishingly entertaining. I mean, before the games, you pick out, don't you? You pick out maybe medal prospects, uh, should win medals, and yeah. will win medals. Yeah. But these these didn't ca categorise in any of those. Yeah. Well, we we uh, during qualification we went to, we saw the lads work and we were like, wow, you know, that mm. would just be amazing if you could just repeat that performance. And then you take into account that China have a shocker, Japan have a shocker. So you put it into reality and you say, all right, then, okay. Maximum, maybe a fourth, a fifth, but then you think, okay, the teams from Europe, you've got Russia in there, you've got Ukraine, Germany as well, but Great Britain won the Europeans just yeah. a month or so ago. Phenomenal strength in, involved in this sport, Lennox. Let me tell you, a lot of core work, and, uh, you know, I did some of that, you know, trying to do some core work, keeping my knees up, but it's difficult, especially mm. when your, uh, your legs are really heavy. So I think it's better if you're a bit shorter. Is that your excuse? You got heavy legs. <laughs> I, I <laughs> used to want to see them. Oh, yeah. they are. I used to do that rope, the crucifix, just to warm up for training for. <laughs> well, seriously, though, astonishingly no. difficult thing to yeah, do. Yeah, it is. But I mean, you're everybody. an expert. You used to be British yeah, junior champion. Junior, yeah, and back in the well, it was a long time ago. Yeah, well, clearly I wasn't that good at the cross because <laughs> I was so young. But no, honestly, if anybody at home does want to get a have, have a go, just put two chairs together and just get into that mm. half lever position and lift your legs yeah. up, and you will just appreciate what they. I mean, this will do a lot for the sport of gymnastics in this country. Well, They'll be talking so. about it in pubs tonight, for crying well, out loud. Well, that's it. And the thing is, you know, I know that growing up doing gymnastics myself, everybody would always turn around and go, oh, all right, blokes, gymnastics, what? Yeah. So you've got a ribbon and, you, <laughs> and you've got a beam. Mm. So now, this really has just put men's gymnastics I mean, on the mark. Our generation grew up watching Eastern Europeans. This generation will grow up 
watching well, British athletes performing well. And do you know what? And it's not just about hitting it right now. It's about all the hours of work that have gone in and the yeah. coaching and all those coaches that have recognised that talent at that young age. And they will, without doubt, inspire more gymnasts mm. to come through. Massive in the amount world. Of, of training involved, similarly to, to boxing, of course. Boxing, very holding my hands mm. up in the air, and it was fantastic. It, it was interesting, wasn't it, that, that, that four years prior to that, that you fought in the Olympics and you waited to turn professional for that amount of time. Yeah. Was that because you wanted gold? Well, I was still young, still going to school, and I knew what it took to really win. win. And going, staying uh, amateur for another four years and going to the Olympics once again, I said, I better get it right this time. Does, does staying a while in the amateur ranks produce a different kind of fighter than one that turns professional young? Absolutely. You know, the longer you stay amateur is the better conditioned you get. And uh, you could say, when, when, you, when you stay amateur for a long while, you get in a lot more experience, you get to know yourself. I was still young at the time, so I had, my body had to grow into himself and get a lot stronger. Then when, when I was there, I was, at, I was there at the, actually the perfect age, mm. 23. Well, Lennox, you, you're going to stay with us. We're switching yes. to BBC Two very shortly. Matt, a final word uh, from you on the gymnastics. Any more medal prospects? Lewis Smith, obviously. Yeah, indeed. Lewis Smith, pommel horse. Very, very, very good chance. Beth Tweddle as well, obviously, on bars. The women's team are going tomorrow. We're expecting probably around a fifth yeah. for them. Be difficult. Matt, yeah. uh, thanks for coming in. No uh, Lennox, stick with us. Don't right. move, please. Uh, if you want to watch uh, live volleyball, it's always entertaining. That's on... Uh, BBC Three, um, but um, here's the medal table and um, another medal for Britain today, uh, another bronze, so two bronze and one silver. Uh, China uh, lead the way uh, alongside uh, a United States, but um, it's early days of course uh, just yet. Uh, the news is about to come on here on BBC One and Gabby's Olympics tonight will follow it 